These girls are like ghosts. They're one of the most wanted hacker rings in the world. Mostly ex-military, difficult to predict, and impossible to trace. But one of them just grew a conscience, and we got her. Stress call. It has to be on its way to Cryer, wherever she is. Girl keeps on the move, living homeless despite the millions she makes as a hack for hire. And once she sees our girl's message, she's gonna have to decide whether or not to assemble her troops. Danya will be in some Russian war zone, probably with her mercenaries. <laughs> Sticker shock will be stateside. If we manage to take down Cryer, that girl will be the one to take her place. The two of them evidently served together in Jakarta, so Sticker shock will be military trained and in fighting shape. Fatal, on the other hand, seems to be the one member of the group with no armed forces background. As far as we can tell, she's independently wealthy, and she got into the hacker game presumably out of boredom, which makes her even more dangerous. Backslash is their party girl. She's exceptional at social engineering and getting people to give up their secrets. Kill Switch seems to be the wild card. She may be the best onliner of the group, but she can't seem to stop leaving bodies in her wake. Just about every hack job she takes winds up a disaster. There are probably more criminals after her than us. Douche. Then there's 8-Ball. She's the youngest, and the newest addition to the ring. She's a pretty competent hacker, but intelligence suggests she's still taking dangerous real-world gigs just to make ends meet. Finally. These girls may not get involved, but if they do, we'll have a fight on our hands. A few minutes ago, one of our own was captured. The men who have her have guns, money, and a license to be jerks. Are you hearing all this? Staging a rescue is going to be dangerous, and there's a very real chance that not all of us will survive. Who's in? I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. Done. All right, everybody, dive in. Your friend is gone, and promise me you will not come after her, because we can see you coming, and we have a lot. Of bullets. That doesn't mean you can hit what you shoot at. You know, no one's ever tried this before, right? Well, then we better get it right. Let's get dirty. Hi, I'm Jessica Wynn, producer of Ghost Dive. And I'm Sean Rourke, the director. And chances are, you're one of two people. Either you've heard of cosplay or you haven't. For those of you who are familiar with cosplay, feel free to ignore the next couple seconds of description and enjoy some concept artwork on the right-hand side of the screen. So cosplay is something that happens at pop culture conventions. It's where people get dressed up as their favorite characters from anime, video games, comic books, and then they walk around the convention floor all day as people take pictures of them. 
They make their own costumes, their own weapons, their own props. They don't get paid to do this. They love to do this. Every year I come to Comic-Con, and I'm always amazed by the cosplay. It's not just the costumes themselves, though, which are incredible, but it's the fact that the cosplayers themselves become these characters for the day. And I started to ask myself, you know, what would happen if we could get some of these people on screen in a movie kind of environment where they're actually, you know, portraying these video game anime types of characters that they do on the convention floor every day? But we're hearing them say lines of dialogue, we're watching them get into gunfights and fist fights and stuff like that. What if we could put a bunch of these very talented cosplayers together in a movie together? So I wrote an original script, which is Ghost Dive, and then I talked to a couple cosplayer friends of mine, and they were keen to do it, and then they put us in contact with some cosplayers that I didn't know, and they were keen to do it. So sprinkle in a couple of my favorite actors that I love working with, and we're ready to go. But making a movie is not cheap, especially when it's feature length, which is why we need your help. We're all fans of cosplay here, and we all want to see these people come together. So here's how we're going to do the Kickstarter rewards. So chances are you probably followed a particular cosplayer or actor here. And if you donate to the project, you should have the opportunity to let that person know that you did. But more than that, you should have the opportunity to let everyone who sees the movie know which character that you stand behind. So we're calling this Adopt a Hacker. Please adopt me. Please adopt me. You have to adopt me. When you donate, even at the lowest tier, you select which of the main characters you'd like to support. You'll receive a digital adoption certificate, and when that character appears on screen for the first time, your name will also appear on screen as one of their supporters. That's actually in the movie. And the gifts go up from there. So depending on how much you donate to the project, you can get all kinds of cool stuff pertaining to your hacker. From complete photo sets of them in costume, to unique videos where they personalize it toward you, all the way up to actually being in a scene with your favorite hacker as your own character. We can't do this without you, but ultimately we want to make this movie with you. So let's do it. Let's do it. And remember, Kickstarter is an all-or-nothing thing, so we need to raise our entire budget by the three-month deadline, otherwise the movie doesn't happen. And I think we can all agree this is pretty important to human race. So hit up our Kickstarter page and forward us along to anyone you think might be into it. And we'll see you at the finish line.